Hello everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. I have a massive, huge haul, shopping craft haul to share with you guys. So grab your favourite drink, cup of tea, cup of coffee, anything you fancy, maybe even a cake or something. Might get hungry. Okay, so this is absolutely huge. I've done loads and loads of um, shopping recently um, because I haven't really been shopping too much at all really. I didn't really shop in the sales or there wasn't much that I needed but then we're getting ready for a new season and I do need a few new things. So let's start off with um, some magazines. We'll start off slowly. We'll start off with something small and we'll work our way up to something a little bit bigger. So these are the magazines that I have to show you today. So um, I've shopped at Amazon, I've shopped at Craftstash and I've also shopped at every craft is a pound so i'll make sure that i can get as many links down below as possible and on my blog and um, there'll be a um what do i what do i say um the words have deserted me um there'll be a link down below as well take that will take you straight to the blog page for this where there'll be pictures as well because it's easier to browse things when there's pictures i'm more of a visual browser than anything else Okay, so let's start off with Simply Cards and Paper Graph. Let's start off with issue 200. I have 200 and one as well. And I also have a die cutting essential. So let's start off with issue 200. I have a lot to get through, just as another pre warning, I have a lot to get to. So make sure you have your favourite drink at hand. Okay, so this is issue 200. This is the 200th. Simply Cards and Paper Crafts issue, so this is absolutely, a, absolutely amazing bumper issue and the gift that you get with this is from Altenew, so you get the layering stamps, lovely flowers, these are, um, these are an anemone and you also get the dies to cut those out too, so I am in this one, so I am going to keep this very brief because um, we have a lot to get through, so here, here I am, I'm on page 64 and there's loads of designers in here we've all had a lot of fun with this one and I've used the, the gift here so I, it also comes with um, free printable downloads as well we've got a bit of glare there so it, this also comes with some free printable downloads as well so you can use the dies with these um, flowers as well and you can use the ink pads as well to um, stamp those out so I've made a lovely gift, um, gift box here and a lovely decorative floral ring there I love adding monograms to stuff, I really do. And we have some more gift boxes here, it's like a pizza style box and there's a, a, a glassine bag there so you can stamp straight onto the glassine bag if you have stays on because the glassine has a kind of um, a gloss finish to it. And here we have a tiny what, an 8x8 mini scrapbook page here as well. So I've used all these lovely flower clusters here and again a monogram. And just at the top here, you can see those are the downloads, so you can use those. You can print them out onto A4 white card and then use the dies with them. Okay, so that is issue 200 and the Altenew gift you get with that. There'll be links to these all down below. This is no longer on the shelves, so the only way you can get this is by ordering from Craftstash. And there's international delivery as well. Um, there will be... Um, thresholds for reaching free shipping in your country so um, in the delivery shipping area at the bottom of the website you can just check there and see um, whether you, you know what what price point you need to get to and it's not done by weight it's done by how much you spend so you can order some nice heavy things as well so this is issue oh no, 201 we're skipping ahead issue 201 and the gift you get with this one I've seen some wonderful um, samples already made by some of the readers and they share them on uh, social media so make sure you're following Simply Cards and Papercraft on Facebook because you can just upload your makes there if you want to share them and if you're really lucky some of those make it into the magazine as well in the readers section so that's really exciting so here we have a lovely stamp set here it's all like hearts and get flowers we do have valentine's here i don't have many valentine's day themes so i'm going to remember that there's a valentine's stamp there and here we have a five by seven cut and emboss folder so um it will emboss all of these sections and then it will also cut this heart section out in the middle as well so that's a really nice little set there let's move this under there so 
let's have a quick look inside the magazine again you have some lovely samples here from this one is from Sandra Rayner and she's made some really beautiful cards here with the gift that you get with the set so there's loads and loads of ideas and let's quickly fix this one I am in this one as well and I've used um, SVG files to make this really nice hanging hearts so um, I have used my Cricut Explore um, to make this and um, if you want if you actually want me to demonstrate how I made this and how this heart goes together I've used a file a cut file from SVG cuts um, and yeah if you want a tutorial for this one I will gladly do that because this is kind of where I would like to go a lot more often so I've used it um, this heart is really really nice and you can resize it and make them bigger or smaller as well so maybe I should make a, a giant one now that could be good yeah okay because this one is only about like this big maybe I can make a giant one okay so moving over this is a valentine's day thing so yeah valentine's day is now over and again this magazine can only be bought um online as well from craft stash so we have i've used another svg cuts valentine's heart box there so maybe i can make a giant one of those as well that would be perfect coming up to a mother's day so again if you want um it's really handy when you tell me what you kind of um want to see on my channel because it really does help guide um me to bring content that you actually want to watch so we also have some cards here so yeah chat away down below in the description in the um the comments there i would absolutely love to hear what you'd like to see me make so that is simple cards and paper craft issue 202 moving on we have simple cards and paper craft issue 202 now love this one this love love Love. this is very me I love this this is kind of how I craft I craft exactly like that so the gift is from bright Rosa so this is from Paola here she is and um, I had my first show with her at her Chanda a couple of weeks ago actually so um, when I launched my new collection she was presenting with me and it was just so exciting so anyway so this is um, her stamp set here so this is the die that she has designed to go with it as well so I'm not too sure if she's designed the stamp set but she's definitely designed the, um, the die there so I think there's um, another die set here we are die cutting essentials this is also from Paula as well So let's have a quick look inside inside there are some lovely oh before we move on that's my project it's the editor's favorite oh i get so excited when i see those so i think paula has um here we are she's made some absolutely beautiful projects with this die set and stamp set love this love the ferns just thinking how you can make a miniature bouquet with these as well i love adding ferns and things i had ferns in my wedding bouquet so this is totally up my street and here she's made some lovely edges here with the die as well absolutely wonderful and yes you get the um just along here you get the outline die as well so you can cut that out completely on one side okay so you also get some paper downloads as well um, you can go to the simply cards and paper craft website and you can download those extras i'm just trying to find where it mentions it here we go simplycardsmag.com you can go and get those extras and also these little circles here are what you can make these roses these little um, rolled up flowered roses as well there's, there's loads in this issue and here this one is currently on the shelves at the moment this is for mother's day now this is a really super easy heart wreath to make really really easy and this works best with double sided paper and you can see the insides as well and here we have I've made a mini wine bottle here just using up scraps and this is the editor's favourite project here it contains three Ferrero Rochers and again if you want any of these demoed I can actually do that these are these are really super easy to make this shouldn't be a long tutorial if I made one and this one here is a tiny little handbag I have made one of these for my channel before but I've made a template for you as well so you can download that from simply cards mag so I might just demonstrate this one there 
and again it's got all of the um, dimensions that you're going to be needing and so I've done two cards for this as well I'm taking a while with these magazines aren't I so let's get a move on so here is a lovely large 5x7 Mother's Day card as well so that is Simply Cards the Paper Craft issue 202 and last but not least I have die cutting essentials here this is issue uh, 62 and again this is another bright rosa gift and it's this lovely geometric panel here and some lovely uh, edge dies to some words and a few extra bits and bobs there so she's made some lovely samples with these and again inside the magazine there are loads of ideas on what you can make with them 3d and cards so here's just a quick glimpse of what's inside and this is also Hannah Williams um, this is her first um, issue that she's edited so welcome Hannah to the team there's plenty more fun to come and we also have Sam from Mixed Up Craft in this issue as well and I have a feature on my mini album dies as well so there's instructions here on how to put the dies together and which dies I've used to make these mini albums I had so much fun making these so this one here again this is made using gift bags the gift bag landscape gift, landscape gift bag die I've used it with the binding and made an album and this one here this is another um, small mini album using the mini portrait album and here using again at the mini portrait album I've, just, I've turned it into a folio because it comes with all of the dies you can make a folio with it too so that is die cutting essentials issue 62 okay um, moving on okay so one thing I do need to mention I would love to mention is a new website it's um, a community based website Called craft world it is run by practical publishing and I do have um, a personal account and a simply made account it's easy to join it's, it's uh, free to join so um, here is the details craftworld.com there's going to be there's four rooms there's chat there's ideas there's inspiration everywhere you can chat to me on there and um, if you do join come and find me um, I'm under Helen Griffin and that is under my personal account I come and be my friend I don't mind you can come and join me there and I've also got the simply made crafts where I'm sharing all of my ideas and you know and um, projects for the simply made craft range so I'm just going to pop something under here because because of the glare there we go there's still a bit of glare anyway um in February it's um last month it's still February now yes I made a masterclass using my mini album dies it's hard backed it's a full-on tutorial it's over an hour long I believe uh, from what I can remember and I've used the die sets here to make this beautiful album and it's got the inserts here as well and the tutorial is free to watch it's under my simply made crafts profile page and I show you step by step how to make this album so please do join craftworld.com to watch this tutorial and I show you step by step how to make this as well everything in here is step by step including the wrapping of the hard cover for this album so that is free to watch so make sure you join craftworld.com and look me up under Simply Made Crafts and also send me a friend request I'd love to be your friend on there okay so next up these are kind of related because I'm going to try and use these together and I am going to do um, a YouTube video on this now this is my new golden notebook now this one is from Amazon and these these CCX dies are from Craft Stash and inside we have removable pages it works very similar to um, the other system the disc system but these are like little spirals but they all come out so you can see you can pull them out and push them back in again comes with a ruler and the main reason why I bought this is that it comes with 
four little um, tabbed sections here, some index tabs there, so I can divide this up because what I'm doing is I've got about three or four different notepads on the go and I'm switching between them and forgetting where I've written what notes where and so I basically want everything in one notepad and I can add to it or I can take things out once I'm done so you can buy refills as well so I thought I'm going to give this a go and I'm also going to decorate this one I have some lovely um dies here this is like one of my favorites I'm going to rep replicate this exactly using those colors so this is the um, floral layers this is from Sizzix so I'm going to be using this on the front of this notepad to make it really pretty and I fancy making some 3d flowers here so these are tulips this is called tulip and again links will all be down below for this one and we have some frames here now these are quite diddy these are quite small so I'm going to add some frames I think using these flowers here and this one is called geo floral frame so I'm going to be doing a video on me decorating my notepad it might be um, a live a live video I think that'd be quite fun and to help me do that I've also treated myself got a bit of glare there over. I've also treated myself to a tiny die cutting machine. So this is from Altenew. Um, when I saw this, I really wanted to get one. I did wait a few months for this one. Um, so I'm going to do an unboxing as part of decorating my notepad. So that's all going to be one video and hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get that done as a live video as well. So I'll be testing this out. And the plates of this measure three by six. I believe so these little dies here should fit on there um, cutting plates measure by six uh, three by six and one quarter so that's gonna be really handy just put the little dies there instead of pulling out the large the larger die cutting machine so that is my notepad so moving on I'm sticking with machines now what I've done I'm gonna have to clear some space now because there's not gonna be enough room at the moment to have it on my desk it's massive and I have not unboxed it yet it's I do need to get using it straight away because I'm currently designing a few things so I need to literally get this set up so there won't be a video for the setup for this but I will be using this in future tutorials so let me just grab it it's really heavy I'm almost there here we go oh here it is can you guess what it is yet I might have to pull the um pull this out and you can see my my desk it's a little bit messy okay Let's see if I can get this on without knocking my tea over as well I've got a cup of tea here so I have invested in you can't see it there we go the Cricut maker this is an absolutely huge box and it's really really heavy as well so that's all I can show you of that one today but I'll put a picture up so you can see it in full from the official pictures oh get this back over here so to go with that I have spilt my water doing that <laughs> let's get that tidied Okay, so I just wiped everything up. It's really handy having your cloths around your craft room. Mop up any spills. So where was I? Right, so we were talking about the Cricut Maker, which I really wanted because I wanted to use the scoring tool. So I actually had to hunt this one out. I found it in stock at Hobbycraft. And um, this was a bit price. It was, 20, it was £55. Um, I think it was £44 for just this one on its own and this one here which is for thicker card and um, like uh, like the super thick stuff and um, this was £30 I think on its own so I thought you know what I'll just get the duo pack and save myself some money down the road if I ever wanted to purchase it which I probably would do so I do have the Cricut Explore already I have the mint version and this is the scoring tool for that which is which I must say is not that brilliant and what I really want is something that's going to do the scoring as well for my designs so 
I have this and I'll be testing this out later today and I will be doing um, a proper like introduction to that so that you can come and join me on that too but I really must get the work that I need to be doing out of the door first okay so that is my new Cricut maker and the accessory that I got to go with that as well we have the paper craft society so I absolutely love this box and I know there's a few YouTubers, uh, Sam from Mixed Up Craft and I think Linda Parker as well, um, they've all got some tutorials out on this and I do actually want to have a play with this but I just hope it doesn't go out of stock before I get a chance to do a tutorial on here. So this is from Ruth and it's a very ma like masculine uh, boys theme, it's got the stars as well and there's there's going to be unboxings on other channels as well but this is available at craft stash and you get let's just have a quick intro to this you basically get this die set here that is going to make a lovely exploding card box card like a tuxedo style so if you don't know what i mean let me quickly grab the magazine that you get with it go here's the lovely roof and inside you can make these gorgeous 3d cards using those um, those dies and there's loads of instructions in here as well so this one was designed by Ruth herself and it's absolutely lovely so what I'm going to be doing is I'm planning on recreating one of these projects using the instructions from from this magazine here so I'll be doing that and sometimes if you get in a rut or if you're stuck for inspiration it's really handy just to you know go by somebody else's project and recreate that one there we go so this is box five box six has ju currently just closed that was um, Christina, that was Christina's box. And this week, it's my turn again. I'm the designer for Papercraft Society number seven, and I absolutely loved designing this box and putting, choosing all the colours and the stamp set and just the dies as well. Um, I'm just really, really, really excited about one. I'm not going to open this one because it's going to be, and um, I'm going to have another unboxing video for this one and there'll be some more information on the craft stash website again links to this will be down below but this is paper craft society box number seven and it's mine but i will show you i'll give you a quick sneak peek the die set inside is for a miniature gable box so if you loved my large gable box this is the smaller miniature version so yep definitely this is a must-have if you love that make sure you know you get your your box so let's move that on and then I did a quick shop at everything is a pound or every craft is a pound that's it here is my box and here are all my goodies so let's delve in I'm going to move this to the side again and then I'm just going to go through it okay so I've got some foam sponges here again the link will be down below I'm not too sure if they do international delivery so it could just be the UK only but definitely go and have a look so these are foam crafting brushes I'm going to need these for an upcoming project so I've got myself two packs and I've got myself some foam tape here I've been after some super thick foam tape now this is 18 it says 18 millimeters oh it's 18 millimeters wide by four millimeters thick so that's kind of almost a quarter of an inch there is it quarter or an eighth let's have a quick measure i'm not very good at that yeah it's almost a quarter of an inch it's like three sixteenths of an inch i've got myself two rolls of those and i love self-adhesive glitter rolls as well so I got myself three of those these are absolutely perfect for creating mini album covers 
So um, you can more or less get these anywhere, like Fablon or sticky back plastic. You, you know, you could just hunt out whatever you want. I know they have some some of these on Amazon as well. So those will be for my mini albums. And then I bought some ready-made flowers. I love these. These are so perfect for decorating boxes. If you just want a quick embellishment, you don't have a lot of time. These are also one pound each. And they had some lovely colours to choose from. I've got pink, I've got red, I've got white. And there we go, there's another white one there. These were a pound each as well. So these are going to last me a super long time. And I might even add some to the scrapbook page. And again, I went all out and I bought loads of these ones. So these are Christmas stickers. These are from Simply Creative, which is the Trim Craft brand. They do the first edition and Dove Craft, and they also have Simply Creative. Now these are Advent stickers, so I'm going to have a lot of fun. I bought myself five of these because these are going to be really, really handy. Because I do have die sets that do cut out the numbers, but it can take ages to making sure that you have enough ones and twos and you know fives and how many of those you need to die cut out and it could take quite a while so I'm just so glad that I now have the stickers I can just stick them on to whatever project so these again are going to be perfect for um, December dailies Christmas memory albums and also making advent calendars so I got myself five of those again those were I think these were 50p each actually yeah they're 50p each so some things are less than a pound and some things are more than a pound Okay, so here I have lots of tape runners. I love these. These are also acid free, so they're per perfect for using with your photographs. So I have one here already. Again, just for sticking mats, uh, paper mats down on your cards and on your mini albums. Um, I stocked up on these definitely. These are going to last me a good while. Let's move those aside. And here I have some masking tape. Now, this is just like the night the purple tape that you would use for um, when you're die cutting holding your um, dies in place so they don't move around so that was a more of a practical purchase and I also stocked up on my red tape because I, I literally got to the last of my rolls in one of my last videos so I think it was for the master class actually that I did for Craft World. I, I literally used up the last of my red tape. So these do come with these paper separators because they are sticky on the outside. So some of these were two for one pound and some of the bigger ones were just one pound on their own. So I got a variation of different sizes there. So these again are going to last me quite some time. The last time I bought a big stack like this was around two years ago. So these have lasted me a good two years. Okay, so here I have. Just make sure. I think I ordered more of these, but I think they only sent one. They must have run out of stock. These are also from Dot and Dab, which is again um, trim craft. Yes, it's trim craft, and this is just silicon foam tape. It's clear adhesive. But sometimes you kind of just don't want to have, you know, the white foam on the show. So I'm going to give that a go. And now I bought some papers as well. They have some really good selections of um, papers. So I don't uh, well, there's quite a few of these. I might give um, a few away to my friends. Sometimes I like to order extra and then I give them away to my best friend. Sometimes my daughter gets stuff as well. I ordered her some scissors and, I give, and some glue. I've already given those to her. So this one is from Dovecraft. It's called Make a Wish and it's in a 6x6 paper pack. So I thought this would work really well with my new collection, the Surprise and Delight collection. It's got the lovely colours there. So I may just use this with some of my new dies. And again, I've got another two of these pads. These are painted blooms. Love this. 
these are some I just love the colours and the patterns on here and again I think you may be able to get these on Amazon as well um, and perhaps maybe in the larger sizes because all of these pads come in 6x6, 8x8 and 12x12 so um, every crafter pack they only had the 6x6 one so I'd love to get this one in the 12x12 and then moving on to some 12x12 pads here we go this is Paper Addicts this is also a trim craft brand and I thought this would be absolutely lovely for like spring and summer wedding albums so I got myself two packs of these and they are double sided so they're perfect for making your album pages and your pockets as well as you know making cards and you know just decorating your album as well so that is 12 by 12 and then sticking with the paper addicts I've got Tropical Bliss I love these colours too, very tropical. So again, oh, gift bags, albums, gift boxes, Ugh. love that one. And then, oops, sorry guys, no spatial awareness obviously. Okay. So this one is called Secret Garden. I actually got this one for my best friend because I thought she would really like this one as well. So this is called Secret Garden. It's from Dovecraft and you get three sheets of 12 designs and it's also acid and lignin free. She absolutely really goes for the acid and lignin free um, paper because she's a scrapbooker. So she's very aware of the um, preserving her photographs. Then I have here. This is a heat. This is a heat resistant mat. So I'm going to give this a go. So I'll probably use it for um, putting my glue gun on, resting it on there. We don't want to melt things by accidentally putting it near something. And also I'll be using this for um, when I heat emboss as well because if I sometimes heat emboss on my usual mat. Um, it can make it warp a little bit and then it'll take a while for it to go back down that's what I find so this this board here should be perfect it's actually quite a thick board let's measure that it's it's a good quarter of an inch that is so we'll give that a go right so that is my massive haul I'm sorry if this was a really really long video some of you like the long haul videos some of you don't um, I'm hoping that I've kept your attention and um, I've I'll try and link as much as I can down below and I really want to show you more of my brand new Cricut um, maker as well so I'm going to be getting on with some tutorials for that as well though sorry you didn't get to see much of that it's still in the box and it's too big to put on my desk so um, yeah so thank you for joining me today um, I've got a little bit of work to do now so some more tutorials to film so thank you for joining me today and I'll see you again next time